Go ahead. You got a story for us, though, man. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So, so Friday, I uh, went on my lunch break at work. I decided to go to Chick-fil-A. Chick- so... Uh, it had been a tough week, so before I went to the Chick Fil A, I was just sitting inside my car. I was just trying to gather my thoughts. Pacing? Were you pacing inside? Well, the car? I was in a car, so I mean, no, I wasn't Can't pacing. Pace in a car. It's kind of hard to do that, but um, <laughs> that's it. walking around his car. So I'm in the parking lot, and this guy walks up to my car, and he was like flagging me down. I didn't know what was happening. I was like, did I like hit your car or something? I get nervous whenever people just like you can't beat off in public. <laughs> yeah. I get nervous when like white people come to my car. I just like, okay, no place to <laughs> So this, uh, and to be fair, he was dressed in a cutoff shirt with like some camo pants, and you know, I was kind of a little nervous. Not gonna lie, your time was coming. Not, cool. not gonna lie, and you then, know, Brown, your soul's required. I rolled, window, like I rolled the Sorry, window. I rolled the window down, tell your story, and please. he had a Charleston, South Carolina accent, so it kind of got a little worse too. Like I'm like, ah, what's going on? And he gave me the sob story. He said that uh, his um, he's a vet. Oh, he's yeah, he, no, he was he was a military vet. He gave me this uh, sob story. So basically, he said he had like crashed his car and he was waiting for like uh, a tow truck to come and like he um, needed some money to um, to to make the I guess pay for the tow. So one thing you need to know about Shut Up Cole, ladies and gentlemen, is that I can't say you carry cash. I can't say no. <laughs> I don't carry cash. That's another thing to know about me, but. I really have a hard time saying no to people who put me on the spot. Like, if you want something from me, just walk up to me and put me on the spot. Because I can't say... But the thing is, it only works with people I don't know. People I I know I'm comfortable with, I'll just tell you no. So you're a jerk. (laughs) Maybe. So he gave me the sob story, and I was like, I don't have any cash. And then I was like, do you have Cash App or Venmo? He said, nah, man, I'm just a redneck. I don't have cash. <laughs> so I drove back to my job because my job has uh, Wells Fargo under. <laughs> it is your bank. Go ahead. And I got $40 oh, and I brought him $40. Wow. That's nice. And that. yeah, so he was like, yeah, man, like, I'm, I'm going to bring you this money back. You know, like, I'm really sorry about this. He pulled out his, he put out his wallet and, you know, he was showing he had money. Da, 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 da. So he wasn't like poor or broke or homeless or anything. And I was like, cool. So we exchanged numbers, exchanged information. And um, he told me he was going to uh, pay me back on Monday. So Monday comes around. I'm at my job and I'm waiting and I get a text and he was downstairs. We went, we had lunch at Chick-fil-A and uh, he paid me my money back. It was cool. His name is Charles. Dang nice it, guy. man. Wow. I wanted to be a crazy. So, like, yeah, wow. it was crazy. He ran over your money, dude. He like, <laughs> ran over the money. He cracked. So that didn't happen. He never called me back. I never got the money back. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm about to say, like, let's have a chip here. The twist. Thank you. I mean, that's the hard part. Oh, man. Like, never, I, like, he never called back. He never texted me. Because the thing is, like, I... We exchanged numbers, and he didn't think I was going to come back, so he texted me. He wasn't being but He was like, oh, man, like, thank you so much. Because, like, it's the middle of Northern Virginia, so it takes forever just to go, like, half a mile, right? So, anyway, I came back, and he's like, oh, you're cool. And then I texted him. This man never texted me back. Like, and you know what? I knew he wasn't, but it's still, like, damn, bro. Like, it's tough, though. It's tough. They get a lot of people. They get a lot of people. Am I stupid? Should they tell me I was a complete idiot for doing that? You got a good good heart for doing that. You got a good heart. You gullible as hell. You got a good heart. A lot of people are like, I'm getting scarred. Like, because, like, because you really, you really buy into that. Like, because you see, it's it's a hard thing for anybody to see. Like, somebody, like, like, half-dressed. Like, I'm in the heat. Especially, like, on hot days like today. Like, I've seen a couple people out. Like, and they... Laying on the sidewalk like barefoot, no shoes. Like you, you wanted to like give them something, but at the same time, like I'd rather like take you. And this is one thing that I've started to do. Like when I see somebody homeless and they ask for money, I'm like, hey, are you? Do you want a drink? Do you need like some snacks? Like if I'm by like a CVS or like buy some type of corner store, mm-hmm. I buy you a snack or I buy you uh, some water. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes, surprising to me, like some people say no. And I'm like, so you just want... They want alcohol. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So it's kind of like a tough thing. Like, <laughs> so yeah, shout out to that. Thank you. But yeah, I'm just really bad oh, being God. put on the spot by people. Because hey, people do that to me at my job too. They'll ask me for shit oh, yeah, that like I really shouldn't I have to do. Work. But like, I'm, I don't, I'm not good at telling people... When you're an anxiety person, just in general, you don't like confrontation. You, you don't, don't like disappointing people. people. So like, you just like, ah, uh, okay. I got what you're saying. That's why I'm a market strip clubs. That's why I hate going to strip clubs too. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mark. It's just I walk in, they fucking know. Like, just take all my money, God. 
you know I'm not. I'm like, I don't like strip club, man, right? because like it's just a weird. It's like I mean, I don't dislike oh, them, but it's like it's just You're weird. You're a damn fool. That's what you are. <laughs> Ah, oh, shorty shit, stole that five dollars from me. That one shitty strip club. I wasn't gonna bring that up. Why didn't you bring that up? She no, really no. took it out of my hand. And I was like, all right. Uh, the, oh yeah, that was that time. Was yeah, yeah. she give you a change back or something? No, we were. It was at that shitty one. They have liquor, so they were selling huggies and Capri <laughs> <Shit. laughs> Shorty took my shit and bought like a sprite or something, dog. Little can sprite. Oh. Thanks, bitch. <laughs> Yo, I'll never forget that in my life, bro. <laughs> Better hold on to your money tighter next time, kids, man. <laughs> Like, I just, yeah, it's I can't. Uh, saying that was an art. Oh, the art saying that. But yeah, so like, if you, if you want something from me, just put me on the spot. Bro, I feel like, sorry. <laughs> I actually do feel sorry for like, people that actually do struggle and like, are actually like, in need of like, money stuff like that. Because like, bro, the world is so wild that it's like, yo fam, I see y'all, but it's like, I feel like, dang, am I going to give you this? And you going to turn around and just try to play me or something right. like that? It got to the point where you just feel bad doing type they of stuff. Will. Yeah, and, and <laughs> they just will. one thing was like, bro, you just got to take your chances and just, you know, if you want to give somebody some, all right, you're wild for giving somebody $40. First and foremost, I would have given 20 tops, 10 maybe. But I'm just saying, like, if you really, like, $40, Forty dollars, that dumbest shit. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So, I mean, it just happens to people. It's one of the things. Where it's like, bro, it's not the wrong with having a good heart. It's just one of the things that people just. It's just the world we live in. People just take advantage of people like that. It's just one of those things, and it's just like, yo, it's either you going to continue to be nice to people, or it's just going to end up being like, yo, people, or people that actually need help just end up being the one that take the yeah, brunt of this. Right. But some of so, these people. They just they isolate themselves so much, and a lot of it, like a lot of people on the street, are like people from affluent like families too. But they just have like a some people have mental illness, some people just like hey, yep. like I don't want the help, I don't need your help, or like I don't need you, or just fall out with their family, and they just take to the streets, and it's unfortunate. But, but the guy who did that to me, you're a swindler. All right, so, yeah, he's you know, I, uh, yes. Charles, I'm, I'm a mark. I might be stupid, a mark, like but you're a swindler. You're a rebel scum. I hate you. You know what was the loudest shit though? Like I was, uh, I was walking past a homeless dude. I had my earphones in, and so like he, I, he would guess he was asking me something, but I didn't hear him. So I kept just walking by, I look, and then I looked away because I couldn't tell if he was talking to me. Cause I was trying to go home at this point, and then all of a sudden, so I turned my music down, and he calls me a nigger. He was like, "You goddamn niggers!" Like I can't believe you, like all, all, all loud in the street. That was, that was crazy. The, nah. I think it was a little crazy, but that was the first time I've ever been called a nigger, and it was by a homeless man. And I was like, "Bro, are you serious? This is my this is my experience." And like, it kind of don't. This is like a side oh track here. But like, Race knows no money. <laughs> They're in Carlson some retired. Who's that? Dang it, man! Where goes the Bulls pick? Anyway, go ahead. I'm listening to you. Yeah, Sorry, it's crazy. Thing. Like, it's crazy. Like, you, yeah, man. They think they had that word has so much power. Like they, they oh literally a homeless God. dude on the street thinking using that word. That is the wildest thing in the world. Bro. Basically, don't give anybody anything. And if a homeless just dude, tell them no. If a homeless dude call you a nigga, you have the right to walk by whatever establishment they're sitting on or doing and just kicking it away from them. If yeah. it's a box, if it's a chair, if he got a cup, <laughs> just take it and throw it. There you go, bro. If he got change in that cup, kick that joint over. Just take all the change. Yeah, I was trying to right. go home. I was like, what the? Like, are you serious? Dude? I thought about that. I was like, wait, go pee. I was like, nah, you don't do that. But now that you said it, sure, why not? Yeah, I don't know. They keep ruining it for everybody. But about to nobody say, bro, get nothing. Uh, I'm about to say yeah. After that, nah, I ain't doing it. All right, man. I ain't going to buy you to scrap with him though because right. he may have a sharp object. I'm about to say no. He no. He was like milled. He probably had like one of them little. The little weapons you can get off when you like, it's like late at night, they have the little advertisements, like them little glasses and shit. Like, <laughs> like those little, those little thermal, those little thermal they, drones. Yeah. Those little, like, little yeah, Swiss night, Army night. Night yeah. and goggles and shit. Yeah. Like, Nigga, it's daytime. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> <little> shit. <laughs> I can see you extra well now. Frank, is that you? No, it's not. <laughs> Damn it, no, it's not. You ruined it. I didn't see more street next later. Uh, yeah, because yeah, I Where, where you gonna go? Maybe. Where you gonna go? Man? I should have brought it up. All right, anyway, we're at 50 minutes. Uh, yeah, I thought we uh, we covered a lot of topics here. Uh, I'm stupid. Do you guys think I'm stupid? That's the, I think that's the end of uh, it. No, nah, you're just a nice person. Gullible is the word. Okay. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that is the word. You got a good heart. You got a good heart. You got to fix that. You just learned his lesson, learned.